Yar, it be the Vikings coming to attack. Wait, that was like a pirate accent. I guess I guess Vikings were kind of like the first pirates. I, I, I'm just gonna roll with it. Yar, the Viking pirates be attacking. Better batten down the hatches and defend this castle. Banania. I, I don't know where I'm going with this intro. Let, let's just play the game. Yo, what's going on, gamers? It's you. Boy, Daily Tactics here, back with some more Ancient Warfare 3, and today we're going to be checking out this dope Viking beach invasion battle. Look at this. Already, we got Vikings hitting the beaches. They yucked some axe throwers uh, first and, and managed to nail a few troopers. Not bad at all, and now the rest of the melee units are... are Funneling on in here, but not doing too hot. The red defenders are managing to take a lot of them out with their skilled longbowmen. Very impressive. However, the shields are, of course, doing their work. Ooh, the guy almost got the kill, but then his friend ended up getting it after he already went down. A few trusted miners continuing to do their job, gathering resources moments before death. But, uh, you know, as soon as the blues come uh, within like a couple yards, they, they run away in panic. But there's really nowhere to go. This shoreline is, um, well, it's an island, so it's not going to work out too well for these guys. There are a few crossbowmen up in the castles here, but it seems like they're kind of failing to get any real action in there because they're just hitting the sides of the ramparts. Not impressive at all, dudes. Not impressive at all. And uh, now it's really just the Vikings chasing after. <laughs> they're running away. Oh, God. Running away peasants. Ah, uh, this is... This just seems cruel at this point. This is this is definitely some cruelty going on right here. All right, let's go ahead and get another map going. But guys, I hope you enjoy this Ancient Warfare 3 video. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoy. Let's try and get 500 likes in the first 24 hours if we can. Subscribe if you have not already. And comment down below what your favorite era of Ancient Warfare 3 is. Do you like the medieval? Do you like the world wars? Do you like the future stuff? What do you like best? Either way, guys, let's get into some more Ancient Ancient Warfare 3, and we'll leave these guys to pillage this island. What's up, gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off, as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So, Thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship, and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. All right, gamers, this next battle is the Battle of Stalingrad from Vasily Zetsev's point of view, the famous Russian sniper Vasily. We have those German scum up front. Roger that, comrade. Not to very, friend. We shall do the best we can. Ooh, we got planes coming in. Bombers dropping payloads down on Stalingrad. Absolutely BEA, beautiful baby. And we're getting some good sniper action in there. All right. Sonny, do we go forward or, or do we stay here, do you think? Ooh, actually, we got enemy snipers in view, so we can actually stay here for the time being. We've actually got a lot more targets, including some anti aircraft guns over there. Ooh, we got one of our planes right there. Not great, dude. Not great at all. What is that? Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's one way to take out a sniper. The old explosive barrel. Why are there always so many explosive barrels on battlefields for us to uh, shoot? You'd think people would learn to keep the explosives maybe in the back of the battlefield so they don't blow up their own positions. But hey, it is what it is, boys. All right, have we exhausted our targets here? I believe so. I think we got to move forward now. Let's go. I think we can, like, parkour this. <laughs> Minecraft parkour! No! <laughs> okay, it's fine. Uh, we did take some damage there, but we're still alive. Okay, I hear a lot of shots coming forward here, but I actually... That's got... Yeah, that's an allied tank. It's T-34. I, I don't see that many enemies. There's some uh, more Rushkis, some Commandants up, up front. But no enemy targets. Have we won Stalingrad? Just blow up another explosive barrel there. Oh, here we go. Oh, we got prisoners up ahead. Take down those flak guns first. Ooh. Another trooper came in. 
Ooh, I think I hit his helmet. What is that? What? Excuse? Excuse? What is this? I'm not able to get the kill. What the heck? What? Is this dude invincible? I think that's an allied plane. I think all the planes are out. What are you doing? Now that is some fancy flying right there. <laughs> I think that broke all the laws of uh, physics, really. At once. He really did it in. You know? That was it. He, the, the man just said, nah, I, I'm not going to follow those laws. You know, those laws, they kind of suck butt, dude. Uh-oh. Butt sucking laws. Did I just shoot my own man? Uh, No, I didn't. Good. Oh, I'm going to die. Ooh. No! How much health does that guy have? Oh, you got to be kidding me. All right, let's try one more time. All right, gamers, let's try this thing one more time. This time around, we're going to be uh, quicker on the draw. We're just going to, you know, boom, boom, kaboom, boom. All of these guys just totally take them down one by one, bit by bit, easy peasy style. We're not messing around this time around. Boom, uh, boom, uh, boom. Yeah, let's go for these uh, flat guns so our planes actually stay in the air for a little bit longer, maybe. There we go. Got three of the troopers there. Oh, the last guy's hiding. What's up, Tanku? Tanku for giving such good support fire, Tanku. All right. Oh, come on. How'd that miss? What? Oh, okay, we did get the shot. It was just delayed because of the bullet drop. Good. Oh, my friend died this time. I don't like that. That's so sad. All right. Let's see. Ow. Okay. Still took some damage on the way down, but it's fine. Hello, comrades. Come on. We go forward. I'll, I'll, I'll get us to that position, boys. I'll get us there. Okay, I believe we're closing in on it. Just gonna take out those barrels up there in case there's any troopers. All right. Why? Why does this man have so much health? That's like the main problem of the battlefield. Actually, I just ran out of ammo. Oh, ammo box. <laughs> well, that was a uh, a lucky little surprise right there, huh? That was definitely one of the uh, the luckier moments of this playthrough. All right, we're gonna move around this way. Come on! Is the dude invincible? He's got his servant right there. All right, let's just take out his cronies first. And then we'll deal with this scum. Okay, it takes like 10 shots to kill this guy. That's nuts. All right, what's up, bros? Comrade, help us. I got you. They were going to take us to death camps. Don't worry, I got you. I'm going to take your pistols. Thank you. We're free. Okay, I can't actually free them. Sometimes that is a feature in this game, but it looks like not right now. To get a pistol, though. All right, looks like there's more comrades down that way. There we go. Super snipe, but in action, baby. All right. Reaching. Okay, that's just fire. I thought it was a uh, chairman. All right, I hear more firing. Stay sharp, boys. Stay frosty. Oh, that guy got dropped. Nice. What's up, dude? Didn't even have to scope. Easy clap. All right, and there are the last of our comrades right there. I'm guessing there's probably just like a German or two stuck somewhere in the middle of this minefield. So I'm gonna call this mission accomplished. Let's get another map going. I really like this one actually. It was very fun. All right, gamers, so this battle just looks like a very large-scale medieval infantry-style battle, and I guess it's more of the battle simulator variety where we do not get to actually control anyone, but here's the Reds, the Red King, and it looks like that must be, like, his sergeant or something like that, or a Black Knight uh, of his, and an elite guard, if you will, another commander over here, too, and they're going up against the Reds, who are more like sort of... Roman soldiers or Greek soldiers, you know, hoplites, something like that, legionnaires. Actually, yeah, probably closer to legionnaires, um, rather than the uh, the Reds, who are more medieval style of armor. So, kind of, we got we got a little cross contamination of eras here, but you gotta love it, you know. I like it when people get a little bit more creative and they don't go with the norm. A lot of the time, Ancient Warfare Three, people are a lot more exact with what they're going with with eras, and, and they sometimes don't do sort of the more goofy, fun things. Not that that's a bad thing. You guys know I love some historically accurate stuff but it's good to get some goof going on here either way the legionnaires are absolutely decimating here all that's left for the red knights are archers and the lag is coming oh yes it is oh boy yeah the lag is here the lag is here uh but there you go the blues who are defending completely outnumbered the reds not typically how sieges work um and the reds got absolutely dominated 
the the Reds are gone for good here. This was this was tragic. This was a a toughie here for the Reds. Uh, the the Blues just dominating the battlefield. All right, let's get another map going here, boys. All right, there, cowboy. This one's called the Wild West Heist. So I guess we spawn in here. Okay. All right. Immediately. Enemies. We'll just take them out. Oh, revolver is pretty nice if you get headshots, but if you don't, it's pretty tragic. There we go. Ah, nice. Fastest pea shooter in the West. Oh my god. How many reds are here? I could maybe wall bang that guy. Oh, he's dead actually. Wow. Should we just go like down the line here? This is excessive. My goodness. There's so many reds. All right, jump. Ooh. Oh, I actually have a lot of health. Ooh, I have uh, I have oodles of health here, so. Maybe I just go in. Maybe that's the whole thing. Yeah. Miss every shot as they go in. Yeah. I'm a god. I'm a juggernaut amongst cowboys. Let's go. Easiest collapse of my life, dude. All right. Give me the, the this as well. Oh, I got like infinite ammo too. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, well, I just reloaded it and it's already... What? <laughs> okay. A little glitchy glitch right there, but that's fine. We literally are a god of cowboys. Oh, and I missed. Oh, there we go. Wow, the revolver is significantly better. Oh, they got they got shotguns now. Ooh, I am not so godly anymore, am I? Ooh, this one's golden, though. It still takes a really long time to reload that sucker. All right, you know what? Give me my pistol back. Where'd it go? Here, I'll take this one. <laughs> I think the pistols are, are probably a little bit better off. I've still got 10,000 bullets for it, so I think I'm doing okay. Oh. Oh, the pistol's not so good anymore. Maybe I do need to upgrade to the, um, the revolver here. Oh, it's still not very good. Okay. At, at a distance, cowboy weapons not pulling off, boys. It's fine. I've still got 2,000 health. I'm still insane. There we go. There we go. Whew. 1,800 health left. <laughs> they literally made us into a god. Ow. Ow. Okay. You know what? We're going to take that shotgun. Ow. Sorry. Coach gun. Reload this sucker. There we go. All right. This thing is a beast. You have to manually reload twice, though. There we go. Okay. Break this open. Okay. Wow. Meaty. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. It's not exactly like the the most realistic of maps, but gosh dang it, is it fun to just be like Doom Guy set in cowboy era. <laughs> We're just like the almighty. We are the master chief of cowboys. Bam. Look at this. Insanity. I'm actually kind of getting close to dying though, so I need to be a little bit more careful. It can be a little tough around in these corners. When every single area is a choke point, it gets a little tricky, dudes. A little bit tricky. But there we go. Not bad. We cheesed him. You know me. Just cheesing these kills. <laughs> yeet, yeet. Oh, big misses all around. Big misses. There we go. This guy can't aim either, so we're fine. <laughs> oh, this is the saloon. Wait a second. Okay. Do we go this way now? Eh. Let me through the box. All right, let's try going around this way. Maybe this is the door? Oh, no. Oh, my God. That's a lot of cowboys. What are y'all doing out here? Were they straight up just had a firing squad ready for me? Oh my god. I'm a bad dude in this world, huh? They they know the name. Daily Cowboy. <laughs> That's new channel. Daily Cowboy. Only does cowboy games. There aren't that many cowboy games, surprisingly. I mean, Red Dead Redemption, I guess. Like, beyond that... I don't even know if I can name a cowboy game. That might be it. That might be the only cowboy game I know. Ah! God, this is tough. Only 200 health left. There we go. There we go. There we go. Work on it. There we go. Okay, 100 health left. This surprisingly got difficult. This actually got kind of difficult. No! Oh my god, I gotta check out this map, dude. We gotta just see how many more characters were left alive 
in this thing. So we wiped out this entire building. This entire building we, we destroyed. Then there was all these guys in the back. There was only like two left. And then there was more guys over here, like a lot more. Then there was more guys. Oh my, yeah, I don't know. If, if anyone can beat this mission, I am impressed. And this must be the getaway vehicles at the very end from the robbery. Oh, and this is like the golden stuff. Through, throw at marked wall. Oh, I guess throw here. Although throw is spelled wrong, but it's it's the old west. You never you never can spell in the old west. Uh, so I guess you blow that up and then you get to escape through there. Really cool. I mean, we were an absolute juggernaut, but even still, the defenses were so tight that it was really really hard uh, to come out on top. But really fun. I enjoyed it thoroughly. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to hit the like button if you did, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment on down below if you'd like to see some more Ancient Warfare 3 in the future. Either way, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.